Methamphetamine use is a problem all across South Dakota, but on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, it is a crisis. Some believe it threatens the future of the tribe. So just how bad is it? Tonight we talk to the people in the middle of the fight in part one of our special report, Life or Meth, Battle for Pine Ridge. Methamphetamine has been silently but rapidly invading the Pine Ridge Reservation with no signs of letting up. And while it's impossible to know for sure how many residents are using, just listen to these numbers, guesses from those on the battlefield. I would probably say maybe 40%, 50%. Uh, within the past five years, it's probably, I'd say tripled. About 40%. 40%, yeah, and it, and it will increase. It has increased. We talked to inmates at the Oglala Lakota Adult Offender Correctional Facility. For their protection, we agreed to cover their faces and change their names. Down here, it's more or less a lifestyle. It's not something that they just randomly do. It's people wake up and that's all they do when they wake up. It's not how am I gonna feed my kids? What are we gonna do for lunch or anything? It's how am I gonna get high? Oglala Lakota County is known for being the most impoverished county in America. With few jobs available, price is a factor. Well, everyone sells these little bitty bags of meth for $20. But if you really wanted to, like, when I used to be on it, I would go and get meth for $5 if I wanted to. Inexpensive and highly addictive. This inmate knows firsthand. The first hit. Some people smoke it, some snort it, and others, like the woman we're calling Becky, are what's known as darters, using syringes. 60 cc's every hour just to keep my high, just to keep me up, and I'd be up for days. The longest I was up was for 18 days. It got so bad to the point where I start hearing stuff in my own head. I start looking left, right, trying to look out the window. I was thinking that someone was after me. Tribal police say they are tremendously understaffed, with only approximately 30 officers right now. That's roughly 20% of what they say they need, or 80% short. And with meth running rampant, other crimes follow. With the level of violence that's coming about, you know, people getting their house windows, their car windows broken out, getting assaulted. Family members getting murdered, you know. We've seen an increase in homicides on Pine Ridge. From 2015 to 2016, the homicide rate basically doubled. And per capita, Pine Ridge in 2016 had the third highest homicide rate in the nation. That's incredibly troubling and, and concerning. Third highest in the nation. U.S. Attorney for South Dakota Randy Seiler says their office believes meth was a factor in about half of those and says their office has been involved in prosecuting those responsible. Still, meth remains popular here. We're seeing it anywhere from teenagers on up to 50, 60 year olds. It has no age, age group, I guess. Everybody's using that. A single mother, known as Mama Jules, is standing up against meth, raising awareness about its dangers and using her mobile home with plywood floors and broken windows as a safe house for kids. Every baby born addicted to meth is a part of a generation that the Oglala Lakota Nation loses. So if it keeps on how it is in 20 years, we won't even have Oglala Lakota Nation. Ominous words. The highest estimate that we got regarding meth users on the reservation was 90%. The lowest was 10%, with most guessing somewhere in between, about 40 or 50% of residents using meth. Coming up tomorrow, uh, we're going to look at why meth has become such a problem there in part two of our special report, Life or Meth Battle for Pine Ridge. I'm looking forward